All right. Hello, lovely three students that decided to come for off the hour. Oh, eh, that decided to come for office hours today. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Heaven. Thank you, Nia Miller. So in office hours today, we've been re we reviewed today in class how to write ratios, and today we're going to review exactly how we do that. So, oh, did it disappear? Did I lose my whiteboard? Did I? Oh, no, thank goodness. Okay, phew. I was like, I don't remember the problems. All right, Heaven, you're going to read the first one, and you're going to tell us what to write. Go ahead. The ratio of girls to boys is three semicolon five. Name two equivalent ratios for three, three over five. So what I did, I know I did three times two and five times two because that will give me give me six over ten. Okay. That's one equivalent ratio. Can you give us another one? Mm-hmm. Um, hmm? If you multiplied by two, now what do you want to do with the six? You want to multiply it by I what? You want to multiply one plus by, um. So, okay, so this is one. Okay, so we started with this number, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't like that, but. Okay. Oh, no, where's the undo? Okay. So we start with that number. So you started with, oh, Lord. So you started with the three-fifths, right? No, I don't want to do that. Sorry. Okay. Undo. Okay, we start with that. Three fifths is the same as six tenths because three times two is six and five times two is ten. Six divided by two, heaven, is three. Ten divided by two is five. You follow how heaven got that? Yes. Yes, okay. So now, heaven, we want to go the opposite way, right? So look, this is one fraction. If I have three fifths, I can now multiply that by what? Want to try three? Okay. What's three times three, young lady? Three times three equals nine, and five times three equals 15. So check this out. Look what heaven just did, right? Look, we have six tenths is the same as three fifths. And three fifths, another equivalent fraction would be nine fifteenths. Does everyone see that? Everyone see what she got there? Speak now. There's also other ones. You can do three times four, three times five, three times six, and so on and so forth. Yeah? So those are two equivalent ratios. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type in the chat box. Our answer was three over five. Oh, not, well, we started with three over five, which is the same as we have six over ten which is also equivalent to nine over 15. Does everyone follow? Those are some examples. There's many more. Those are just some that we did. Anyone have any questions on that? No. Okay. Andrew, you are going to do number two for me whenever you're ready and red. I'm ready. Take it away, young man. What do you got? So it's, the question asks, what is the ratio cups of milk? and to the number of eggs in three different ways. So first we have to put the number of milks, which is five. Okay. And then the number of eggs, which is four. Eggs is not four. I mean three. Okay, there you go. Okay, so five over three, keep going. So what I did was I put five over three times four. So you multiply by what? Four. Okay. Four. Okay. What'd you get? And I got 20 over 12. Okay. That's and one. The, next, the other one was five over three times two. Oh, you're finding equivalent ratios. That's not wrong, but what does the question ask you? Just write the ratio three different ways. How do I write five, three, three different ways? You're not wrong. You can, um, 
um, five mm -hmm. over three. Kids with um, column. I forgot how you say it. Yep, colon. Columns, which is five column three. And one more. Um, five. Five two three. There you go. That's all you had to do. You want the extra step and we're finding equivalent ratios because you're not wrong. Because eventually you would have to do that. If you didn't see five over three, you would have to find equivalent ratios to find an answer, Andrew, right? Yeah. You're right. You could also divide 20 by two and 12 by two and you could have gotten 10 over six, which is also equal to five over three, guys. I, I, put, it in, I put it in three ways. I put... I put five over three times six, five over three times two, and five over three times four. That is all correct. Those are equivalent ratios, which are not wrong. But all you had to do, very simple, is just take the five thirds and write it three different ways. You went the extra step, which is cool, because later in the week, we're going to be doing that. Okay. You're good. Are we good? Yep. Yeah. All right. Andrew, do you want to do this one as your name in it? And then Heaven and Nia can work on number four. Heaven, I mean, uh, Andrew, go ahead. Okay. So it says that Andrew said that six column eight is equivalent, is equivalent to 36 column 34. Do you agree or disagree with Andrew? Justify your reasoning. Very simple, Andrew. How do I go from six to 36? What do I do? Uh, six times six. Okay. Remember, it has to be the same number on the bottom and the top. How do I get from 8 to 64? What do I do? So uh, you have to multiply by 6. But it's not going to – I disagree with myself because it's not um, 64. It's 48. Beautiful job. So do you guys see? 6 times 6 is 36, and 8 times 8 is 64. It's not the same number as he said. He disagrees with himself. It would actually be 48. Do you see that? Yes. You sure? Yep. Okay, I'm going to erase that because I'm going to show you the correct way. Right? So we're going to, oh, no. You, Miss Canella, what are you doing? All right. So we're going to say that, let's do a text box here. Andrew is what? Andrew, what's your reasoning? Andrew, oh. Andrew is what is incorrect is incorrect oh. because eight times six would equal to 48 not 30, 64. Mm -hmm. so it would be over 48 and not 36 over 64 and then i'll show you in math what he said very good andrew Ladies, you're going to be up next in a moment. I hope you're ready. So 6 over 8, and then we have 36 over 60. I mean, 36 over 48, over 48. Here we go. So this is 48. And then what we're going to do now is we then are going to multiply the top and bottom by six, which then would give us equivalent ratios. So 36 over 48 is equivalent or equal to six eighths, which is the same fraction. Do we all see that? It is not 36 over 64 because you are multiplying and dividing by a different denominator. Yes, we got it? Okay. We're good? Mm -hmm. All right. Heaven and Nia, this one is for you girls, so I don't care who it is. Maybe one of you read it, one of you do the answer, or both of you work together. So go ahead. Help me out. Read to me in pink what I wrote there. And heaven trail mix. Five cups of oats, three cups of seeds, one cup of nuts, two cups of seasons. Write the ratio of oats and seeds in three different ways. Okay, so what are we comparing here? Heaven or Nia? Somebody tell me. What to what? Oats to what? Oats to 
C's. Right. So O is for oats, S is for seeds. What is the ratio of oats to seeds? The five, three, three. Yeah, that's right, five over three. Give me that ratio in two other ways. So five over three is one way. What's the other two ways to write this ratio? How else do we write a ratio? There are three ways. Fraction, what else? Five, semicolon, three. Yep, five colon three. And what's the last one? Five, what goes in the middle? Five, two, three. Yeah, how easy was this, guys? Does this make better sense now for the three of you that decided to come to office hours? Yes. Yes. Does anyone have any questions? No. All right, no. so now just to recap, now I'm going to trick you up. You ready? Can I get finish taking my notes? Sure. I'm going to actually go one other step. I'm going to create these numbers. I'm going to see if you guys can fill it in because we're going to do ratio tables because I think you all pretty much got a ratio. Let me know when you guys are done. That way we can move on to one more thing and then you're free to go to make sure you do my eye ready, okay? I finished. All right. I just got to get my charger because my laptop's going to die. Is everyone done? Andrew, Heaven, Nia? I'm done with my notes. Who said that? Me, Andrew. Andrew, Nia, how are you doing with the notes? I finished. Heaven? I just had to write the last one down. So everyone has question one, two, and three? Yes. Okay. So can you erase the first three? Yep. Okay. So I want to do so. Oh. Heaven, let me know when you have the last one. I got it. You got it all done? Okay. Easier to go like this. Okay, so the last one. Okay, this is the grand finale. I like to say grand, that means the end. Grand finale. <laughs> like they have in fireworks, right? All right, here we go. We're going to do one more thing. My puppy is laughing. Right? We're kind of like, what is she doing? My mommy is crazy. All right, I'm going to create a table. So we're going to call this, because um, I'm hungry now, so I'm going to say that this is pasta to sauce. So this for those. We're going to make a ratio table. I'm going to show you. I'm going to teach you something that the others that decided not to come today will have to just wait until class. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to do pasta to sauce to Three, four, we're gonna fill in the pattern. Five, six, sorry the lines are messed up. All right. So, yikes. All right, let me erase that. All right, so you're gonna make a ratio table. I'm gonna hit redo, undo. All right, pasta and sauce. So the pounds of pasta to the cans of sauce. That's what we're gonna talk about right now. We are going to talk about this. If I have Okay, this is LBS, which is pounds. LBS is pounds. And we're going to say cans of sauce. Cans. If I have one pound of pasta, I need four cans of sauce. If I have two pounds, how many cans of sauce do I need? How do I get from eight? We double it. What if I have three? Um, six. You said four, eight. You keep adding one on top and you add four on the bottom, right? Because look, how do I go from one to three? I multiply by three. So four times three gives me what? We're finding equivalent ratios. 12. 12, right? Look, one over four is the same as three over what? How do I get from one to three? What do I do? Multiply? Multiply by three. If I multiply the denominator by three, I multiply the numerator by three. So four times three is what? Twelve. Twelve. That is how I got here. I'm going to always start with this pink one. Let's see if you can do this one. I'm going to trick you up now. Pay attention. If I have five, 
How do I go from one to five? What do I do? Uh, one to five. Multiply it by five. Okay. So if I multiply it by five, that means I have to take four times five to get what? Um, 20. Right. Does everyone see what we're doing, Heaven? Are you with me? All right. If I'm at one fourth, right, we want to do this one with the check mark. And now I want to come over here where the heart is. Now that's going to be a number six. Let's see if you can figure that one out, Heaven. So this is a six. One times what is six, Heaven? Oops. One times six is what? One times six is six. Right, so if I multiply the bottom by six, I have to multiply the top by top six. By four times six is what? 24. Four times six equals... So, wait. Look, one, this is what you got, watch, don't okay. guess. Yeah, one time, one fourth is equal to six over what? One times six and four times six. That's how I get 24, right? Times six. That's how we got that, right? Does everyone see what we're doing now? Nia. Yeah. You ready? All right, let's try the next one. A few more and then we're going to say goodbye. All right, just want to make sure you guys are with me. All right, let's try this one. If this is 12, how do I go from one to 12? 12 times oh. 12. Mm -hmm. One times Eight. four. Eight. I got what you meant. How do I get there? One times 12. Yep. Equals right, 12. this is equivalent ratios, right? This is what you're doing. And four times what? Four times. What'd you multiply by? 12. So yeah. 12 times 12. What's 12 times four, guys? 48. Yeah. You see how this is like a pattern? This is patterns, right? This is all you're doing in a ratio table is finding patterns, which ideally is the same as equivalent ratios. A ratio table is another way to show you all the equivalent ratios. Remember we were working with that today? Yes. This isn't so bad, right? This is pretty easy, no? Yes. Pretty easy. All right, what if I give you 50 now? One times what is 50? 50. So if I multiply 1 times 50 to get 50, I multiply 4 times what? 50. Yep. What's 4 times 50, guys? 100. Yeah. Whoever said that, you're right on the money for today. And the last one. What if I said 150? I'm going to make you really think. 1 times what is 150? 150. So then I have to do what with the four and 150? Uh, multiply by 150. Okay. So heaven, 150 or Nia or Andrew, somebody, I need help. I forgot how to multiply. 600. It's what? 600. 600. Do you, guys all, do you guys all see what I just did? Mm -hmm. Does anyone have any questions? No. Okay, so one other thing I want you to write is I know it's a little messy here. So what we do, this is a, this is called, this is called, and I know it's a little sloppy, a ratio table. Okay, what we're doing is we find equivalent, I want you to write this down, equivalent ratios, which are fractions, by multiplying the numerator, which are the top number of a fraction, and the denominator, which are the bottom number of a fraction, multiply the numerator and denominators by the same number to get the, I'm just gonna say, to get, okay? This is a rate, this is called a ratio table. We mult to find, oops, I spelled the equivalent wrong. To find equivalent ratios or fractions, right? We multiply, by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Does everyone see what we did there? Can everyone see those notes? Yes. 
Does anyone have any questions on what we did yesterday in class, today in class, and what I just showed you? Because what I just showed you is another way to show an equivalent ratio. Do you see how this ratio table is the same as if you multiply or divide like we did earlier today? Yeah. Andrew? Yep. Nia? Yep. Kevin? Yep. Pretty easy, right? Mm -hmm. Did everyone write this all down? Uh, I'm still, I'm I'm still writing ready. what it's called. Okay, does everyone have the messy colored stuff? Yep. Yes. Nia, did you write this colored stuff down? Okay, I'm just going to erase this sloppy mess that I made here. Okay, I'm going to leave the green stuff. <clears throat> and then I have a question to ask the three of you and answer you after you answer my three questions. I have to charge this laptop or it's going to die. It's at 4%, so excuse me for one second. Okay. So you have the puppy, then you can go say hi to the children. You be a good girl. Mommy's almost done. Ah, sit down. Good girl. Okay, almost there. <coughs> okay, now we're at 4% and the computer is, oops, see I'm charging it. You see? See my charger? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's in the outlet now. All right. <clears throat> Does everyone now have the green the green sentences written? I'm still writing it. Okay. If you finish, hold it up to the screen so I can see. Heaven, hold it a little closer, honey. Okay. Just gonna wait for Andrew and Nia to show me theirs when they're done. Thanks, Heaven. Are we good? Andrew, Nia, I hope they're nice and neat. I want you guys to send me a screenshot. I want you to take a picture of your work and send it to me so I can see it and maybe put it up in what we did in office hours today. The three of you send me the notes. Maybe I'll feature all three of yours because I got to put up today's video. Wow, that's beautiful, guys, all three of you. All right, what I want you guys to do is I want you to take pictures when we're done. In the meantime, in order for me to dismiss you, everyone hold up their work. Ooh, hold up your work. All right, hold it up because I'm going to take a picture. Selena, sit down. <gasps> hold on, my dog's going to fall down. My puppy, sit there. Sit, good girl. Don't move. Mommy's still in school. Hold on. <laughs> Excellent. Good note taking. I want to see it actually in an email because I want to be able to see how nice you wrote and how you took good notes. I hope that this helped you. But before I let you guys go, Andrew, I want you to tell me what did you learn today in office hours and how did this small group help you today? Today, I learned in office hours about rations, ra ratios, mm -hmm. about ratios, and how, and basically, like, what they are, like, um, basically, they're, like, skip counting. Okay. And how did this help you now versus then today? It helped me now because, like, I felt like, like, um, I, at the beginning, I felt like there was just, like, a bunch of numbers at the beginning like I, I looked at them and I confused myself but now I feel like if I fully not that I fully understand it but I understand it way much more better okay awesome Nia I want you to compare what we just did now to what you did in class and tell me how this helped you how did this uh, office hours help you today with ratios and ratio tables or equivalent ratios um it helped me today because um back in class I was a little confused with the um, ratio and like how to write the paper one and like with the questions and the asking and then the group what well, I mean right now it actually helped me um, understand other ways to write it and other ways how to like get the right answer and not get it um, incorrect. Awesome. Okay, last but not least, Miss Heaven. Heaven, talk to me about class today and about now. How did this small office hour group help you? And what did you learn today, young lady? Today I learned how to do ratios better because last year we learned a little bit of ratios, but I didn't fully understand it. But today I actually understood it more. What made today different? What did I do differently just now versus the class that made you understand it or in general? It, like when we was doing the problems, it really helps me by because ratios I didn't really know about until like now because it was a little bit hard for me in fifth grade. Okay, 
Oh, look at the baby. Look at Angie's little sister, guys. Oh, okay, so I just want you to remember that. Hello, little girl. I just want you guys to remember. Oh, look at her, guys. 